Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths Primary video on rounding. In this video, I'm going to show you how to round numbers to the nearest 10. During this video, I'm going to be using number lines to show you how to do this, but as you practice rounding numbers to the nearest 10, you'll get to realize you can do it in your head pretty quickly and easily. So our first question says, round 42 to the nearest 10. Well, 42 is in between 40 and 50. They're the multiples of 10 either side of 42. And in the middle is 45. Now, if we were to place 42 on this number line, 42 would be down here somewhere. That means that 42 is closer to 40 than it is to 50. So that means if we were asked to round 42 to the nearest 10, the answer would be 40. Okay, next. Our next question says to round 86 to the nearest 10. Well, the multiples of 10 either side of 86, well, they're going to be 80 and 90. And in the middle would be 85. So that means that on the number line, 86 would be round about here somewhere, 86. So that means that 86 is closer to 90 than it is to 80. So it's the nearest 10 would be 90. So if we were asked to round 86 to the nearest 10, the answer would be 90. Right, our next question. Our next question, um, it says round 65 to the nearest 10. Well, that means 60, well, 65 is in between 60 and 70. And halfway between 60 and 70 is 65. So on the number line, 65 would be here exactly in the middle. So whenever I say which is the nearest 10 or which num multiple of 10 is closest to 65, well, actually, 65 is the same distance from 60 as it is from 70. But the rule is, if the number is in the middle that you're rounding, so in other words, you know, if you're rounding a number such as 65 to the nearest 10, you always round up. Okay, so if we were rounding 15 to the nearest 10, it would be 20. If we were rounding 95 to the nearest 10, it would be 100. If we we're rounding 25 to the nearest 10, it would be 30. So the rule is, if the number that you're rounding uh, is midway between the two numbers, so in other words, you know, halfway between 60 and 70, we will always round up. So the answer would be 70. Okay, next question. Our next question asks us to round 127 to the nearest 10. Well, the multiples of 10 below 127 would be 120, and above it would be 130. And midway between those two numbers is 125. Now, 127 on the, on the number line would be round about here. So that means that 127 is closer to 130 than it is to 120. So the answer is 130. Okay, next question. Let's have a go at this one without using the number line. So 481 to the nearest 10. So 481, well, it's going to be in between 480 and 490. Now, 481 will be much closer to 480 than it is to 490. So the answer would be 480. And just to show you, you'd have 480, 490 in the middle, 485, and 481 would be here somewhere. So the answer would be 480. And our last question, round 1747 to the nearest 10. Well, if you were to count up in tens, the multiple of 10 just below that would be 1740. The multiple of 10 just above it would be 1750. And in the middle, 1745. So that number, 1747, would be round about here. So our answer is to the nearest 10, it would be closer to 1750. And that's it.